Welcome back to the show. This is super exciting now. We're, we're going to bring in our producer now, and he's going to be asking Doug Smith a few questions regarding his injury, how you overcome it, and, uh, and the future. So uh, welcome to the show, Jay. Our producer, Jay, you want to uh, take the reins and ask Doug away, ask Doug a couple questions. Hey, Doug, can you hear me? Test. Okay, okay, so you know what? Let me yes. jump in. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump back in and I'll just ask the questions courtesy our, our Facebook just page. Go there. Just yeah. Go there. Just go there. So uh Doug, this is from Alana. Oh, this is a great question. And one of our students, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, okay. So let's so this is from Alana. Have you ever played sledge hockey? Yes, I have. I, I actually sat on the board for a while after I recovered. I went back and uh worked with the sledge hockey team and Todd Nicholson, who was the captain of the, uh, of the team, uh, a Canadian team for many years is a very good friend, friend of my wife's. And uh, yeah, so I got immersed in sledge hockey for a while. It's way too hard for me. It's uh, you know, like uh, it, it was, it was a difficult game. Yeah. Could we add actually Greg Westlake on our, on our platform? Nice guy. I don't know if you know. Greg yeah. Yeah. Was we've, part I, of the sledge hockey team. I, I think we've met and he would know Todd, right? Cause Todd's on the yep. Olympic committee now. So. That's great. Here's a question from Emily now and one of our classmates. What keeps you feeling positive if and when you start to feel down? My wife. We've been married for 37 years now and she was there when I broke my neck and our second daughter was born uh, a week before I was paralyzed. So, you know, my wife had a two year old, a newborn and, and her husband's career was over and he was paralyzed. So my, my, my wife has always taken, taken me aside and this is hard <laughs> and, and listen Family. and she listens, she, she listens, hears me out and, and then she offers advice and I, and she's so patient with me. So yes, Patty. That may be, that's maybe your best answer. ever. <laughs> that's a great answer. Okay. I have one from Melissa. Now I've become disabled three years now. What would you say helped you stay motivated and focused through your low moments besides your wife? Okay. Besides so, so this is the book that it's called your inner physician and you and it's by john upledger he founded the brain and spinal cord dysfunction center in palm gardens florida you know if you're suffering from you know reciprocal pain and different issues because you have had a spinal cord injury a lot of those issues can be resolved you know the pain issue if you take if you if you get this book and just read it it'll change your perspective and then reach out to me because what i can do is i can plug you into a network that maybe you haven't met so i'm sure i'm sure you're still going after it but i can plug you into a network that might be able to enhance what you're already doing that's great okay we're asking you one more question then we're going to take a quick break and come back and do a few hockey stories so one more question from the whole hawk man he says what is your view on mushrooms and cannabis when it comes to getting healthy? Well, you know, when you ask that question, you have to ask, what's your view on opioids? And opioids have caused me impaction. Uh, they caused my bladder not to function. I had, when I had no bladder function after my spinal cord injury, I, I was on all sorts of opioids and I got off them. And six weeks later, my bladder started to function. So you know, my experience with the old ways of doing things was, you know, it was very painful. So I don't, I don't do that anymore. I try to manage my pain on my own and, and I stay open to all sorts of things. And, and I take a science-based approach to the, to the whole process. So I actually attended the psychedelic conference at Queens University, which was fantastic when Jay Katz was the CEO of, of, of that organization. And uh, I, I learned, like, I, I, I learned so much when I was there. So I, I encourage anybody, when you're dealing with a plant that's one molecule, it's easy to study. So I think the race is on to see who's going to be the, has the best studies. The universities are all on board for sure. I love that you said open-minded. I think being open-minded is, is the key because you never know. Sometimes it, things work, sometimes things don't work. But if you have an open mind and at least willing to listen, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, can, can, right? cannabis works uh, for, for, for a lot of people, uh, but there's so many molecules in cannabis. It's one of the hardest things that you'll ever imagine studying, right? So there's, th there's other things we can probably study. But people know the benefits of cannabis and it's legal now. And I, I see nothing but positive things in that space. So there's no, nothing negative happening. People aren't dying.
That's great. Okay, stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to do a couple of hockey stories and we're, in, we're going to make also a big announcement. So stay tuned. You're watching Press Box. We'll be right back.